Hello YouTube, this is Godzilla vs. Godzilla, back again. Now I haven't been doing toy reviews because I have tons and tons of homework. But now, since it's Christmas vacation, I finally have the time to do it. Now, I did some videos showing a bunch of Godzilla toys I recently got. You could, of course, you could subscribe to any last one of them, any of them. So, here's one of them. Nobody subscribed, nobody put a comment for this. But, if there's any of them that you would like to leave a comment on, eh, feel free. Be so, this, <coughs> I got in the mail on Thursday. It's my favorite Godzilla toy so far. It is the DX Mega Godzilla 1993. When, well, when I saw this thing, I... I just wanted to scream. I, I wanted to run around in circles. This is my favorite Godzilla toy. Lights up, sound, you'll love it. One thing that throws you off is the color. Well, let me zoom in. Sorry, I can't zoom in, but I'll just bring it up. Now, right there, Mega Godzilla's mouth is yellow, but the light is purple. Now, here's this is the front of the box. Shows some of the features. Side of the box shows some of the toys and all that. I mean, not toys, but here's the front of them, the side of them, and the back. Here's the other side of the box. Shows everything it comes with, including I think that's a movie scene. And the back of the box. The back of the box has all its features. Now, there were some other ones. Well, first, um, there was another one that came with a double pack with Godzilla. And then Trendmasters made a similar one. So, yeah. There's some different kinds. So, don't get confused. Plus, there's a 16-inch. A 16-inch Mega Godzilla. It's gigantic, but that thing's 300 on sale for 295 dollars. So I'm, I don't know. Now no one has ever done a toy review on this. So not Nick Jones, not Dadzilla, not Ultraman Chronos, nobody. So yeah, I'm the first one. But they can top me if they buy that 16-inch. So yeah, let's get on to what's in the box. Here's everything that's in the box. Now, there's the Garuda, plus these two separate parts, the two spines. One is the regular fins, and the other one lets the Garuda come on. There's his tail. Oh, and the bad part is, um, the light does not stay on. Once you pass this badge right here, it's, I think it's a metal badge. It lights up, then it goes off. You know, it would have been nice if they put a switch. The DX Mega Godzilla that Ultraman Kronos did, Q, um, he's, his light stays on all, all day long. Now, but, eh, I could deal with it. Now, let's get to the figure. Now, when he comes, he is going to look like this. I got Energizer Lymphium in it. So that's why he's going to be extremely bright. So now, um, you got to pop out the tail. There we go. And pop out the spines. You can do either one, I don't care. Okay, here's the regular fins. Okay, now... Oh, wrong side. There we go. Now he's all complete. Articulation. Arms go 360. Bend here. Hands go 360. Head turns left and right. Now legs. Come on, they they could not put any articulation in the legs. Well, not much. Just moves a tiny bit. But they did add a little swivel.
but that's disappointing. But, eh. I think the, even the 16 inch of Trend Masters, I think one of them has it. Articulation of the legs. So yeah, that's it for articulation. Oh yeah, and the mouth opens and closes. Now I'm gonna leave it open for its next feature. Let me turn off the, let me turn off the light. Okay. Now here's the badge. A G Force badge. Now all the lights are off. I'm just gonna press it by no. Oh my god, that is so cool. That's super cool. So, close up. Now, he, he looks yellow with mouth, like I said earlier, but it's really purple when you buy it. You can't really notice it. So yeah, let me show you it with the lights on. Super cool. That is just cool. Now, okay, now I'm gonna put on the Garuda and turn him into Super Mega Godzilla. They kinda did the same thing with Q in a way. I'm not talking about the toy, I'm, I mean the movie. Now, first. Here's the other one. You gotta pop off his spines. No, I do not like that. With the 16 inch, you don't have to. It doesn't come with another spine because the glue just comes on automatically. Okay, so now we have the spine, the other spines on. Now let's spawn the Garuda. You gotta pop them, pop these two pieces out. Yeah. So then we pop out the Garuda. Here's the Garuda. Now just first snap this part in. And now the other part. And here's something cool about it. This small part here also goes in all the way in the back. Okay, so now just Just snap in these two holes on the left and the right, <coughs> and there we go. Now, these two parts move, so yeah, that's nice. And there you have it Super Mega Godzilla. That's pretty much all he does, and he'll still light up. Now, if you want to buy this one, you're out of luck. I, this was the last one on eBay, and it was eighty dollars. Cost me all, almost all my money. Thank God Christmas is here. So, so yeah, you're gonna have to go to um, either continue searching on eBay, hoping for some luck, or you could buy the 16 inch, or go to some website called Toy Tokyo. It's in Manhattan. I'm going there in the future, and they have but four hundred dollars. Who's spending all that money? Unless you're rich, I guess. Or unless you save up for it. So, yeah. Um, here's one detail that it does not have. All those little, all those little parts on his face. The standard version, eh, that has the detail. So, that's one thing Bondi had. The regular Bondi version. So yeah, it's a good figure. Very good. I give it a uh, eight out of ten. But if you find it on eBay or anywhere for a low price, I definitely, one hundred percent, suggest you you get this best figure.
Godzilla vs. Godzilla, signing out.